Hello everyone. Let's create flower vases using a revolve option in Illustrator. So let us start. Here I have selected an A4 size document and uh, now let's start. First, we need to change the color of the stroke. So let's uh, select a red stroke and uh, let's select the pen tool and uh, we'll only draw one side of the flower vase. Means just an outline of the left side of a flower vase. So just we need to draw like this. and uh, then we need to adjust it properly so once adjustment are done uh, let's also increase the stroke size let's give it a, a three point uh, stroke and then let's select this stroke or line and uh, we'll go to effect and in effect we have this uh, 3d and materials and uh, if we scroll down here we can find 3d classic and from here let's select revolve classic option so we can see first thing uh, we did not get the right uh, result so we have to change some settings here here uh, from left edge option is there zero offset to uh, from a left edge so we have to change this left edge to right edge so we can see now now we can see how uh, things have changed but let's also do one thing let's cancel it let's uh, change uh, the line a little bit so we can keep it uh, somewhat like this now let's give the revolve option one more time so again let's select a right edge so we can see some more change and uh, we can also modify this uh, line a little bit uh, we can just uh, remove the, the top point here and uh, we can then change this uh, point a little bit something like this and now let's give a revolve one more time so again let's select right edge so now we can see we got the exact shape of a flavor vase we can uh, also adjust the lighting so here we have uh, some uh, options more options and uh, we can change the lighting uh, we can just see how the lighting is changing so we can see here and we can also change the highlight uh, size and uh, intensity so here are the options we can just reduce the highlight intensity and we can also uh, reduce the highlight size so we can make it small we can also reduce the ambient light so we can see here and uh, we can increase the blind steps so what will happen with the blind steps we can see the surface becomes smooth right so once we are done with these settings we can simply click ok right now uh, let's do one more thing that is let's expand this so here in object menu we can find uh, expand appearance let's click this so what will happen with expand is it will come out of its uh, revolve mode it's currently in its revolve mode we have to bring it outside the revolve mode for that we need to expand it so that uh, we can actually break it into uh, pieces so now let's uh, break it into pieces so what we can do is we can simply right click on it and ungroup it so we have to ungroup it uh, one more time so now we can see we can see uh, individual pieces here 
so we can select all these uh, pieces so once we have selected these pieces we can just uh, hold alt in pc or option in mac and then drag to create a duplicate of it right and now what we'll be doing is we will uh, apply a pattern to this uh, duplicate so first what we need to do is we have to unite all the pieces inside this uh, duplicate and make it into a single object so for that we have to select the entire uh, set of objects and here we can find pathfinder and uh, in case the pathfinder is not already uh, open uh, in your illustrator interface we can always go to window menu and just uh, open the pathfinder we can also use keyboard shortcut shift control f9 in pc or shift command f9 in mac right so we have to open pathfinder and we just have to unite so what will happen with unite is it will become a single object so now it has become a single object so now what we'll be doing is we'll try to give some pattern to it so what we'll be doing is we will open the swatches so here in window menu we have swatches and in swatches uh, at the bottom of the swatches panel we can find the uh, patterns let's select uh, patterns and in patterns uh, we can find the decorative uh, option and uh, here we can select this one store patterns so here we have the one store patterns let's apply one of the one store pattern for this so here we have applied to the stroke so we have to just hit uh, shift x to convert the stroke to fill so we can see here and we will also turn off the stroke to turn off the stroke we simply have to hit slash right now let's just uh, adjust this uh, pattern on the flower base and uh, we can do one more thing that is we want to blend the pattern to blend the pattern we can just uh, click on this opacity here on top and here we can find uh, plenty of blending modes let's select soft light so we can see here so we have blended the pattern over the flower base and uh, now we can just group group the entire object and uh, we will do one more interesting thing that is we will place flowers inside this flower base so we will go to window and uh, in window we can find the symbols so the symbols panel is over here and in symbols panel at the bottom we can find the symbols libraries and uh, here we can find flowers so there are plenty of flowers uh, inbuilt uh, flowers that come with directly with uh, illustrator we can just keep them like this so we can adjust it properly like this there are other flowers also here so we can just place them like this so we have used the revolve option to create uh, this uh, flower base we will create one more uh, different type of flower base so here let's change the stroke color let's change it to let's say a bluish color and let's select the pen tool and this time we'll be creating a different uh, looking flower base its shape looks different and we can adjust it properly and uh, let's also increase the stroke size and uh, let's now apply revolve option to this path so right now we got like this and we will change again the option uh, left edge to right edge so we got something like this 
and now uh, we will also change the lighting and uh, we will also reduce the highlight intensity the highlight is the shining part and we will also reduce the highlight size and let's also increase the blend steps so that the surface of this uh, flower vase will be smooth right and once we are done with this we can just simply click okay that's it and now we will again uh, expand this so to expand it we will just go to object and we'll select expand appearance to bring it outside the revolve mode right and now let's ungroup it simply right click on the object and select ungroup we have to ungroup it uh, one more time till we see different uh, pieces so we can select the main uh, body parts of this flower base so we should not miss anything right so now again we will take a duplicate of all these uh, pieces we can uh, simply hold alt in pc or option in mac and drag so all these objects uh, get separated here so we can uh, just get all the objects here okay it's all right uh, we have uh, missed uh, a small piece it's all right so we will now select this entire set of objects and we will unite so here we have the pathfinder and we will just simply click unite so it will uh, just combine all the pieces now we got a single object so once we got a single object again we can just apply some uh, patterns so we can just uh, go to the swatches panel at the bottom of the swatches panel we have this uh, swatch libraries and uh, from swatch libraries we can select the patterns so we can just select uh, decorative patterns here so we can just uh, apply some de decorative patterns so this is one thing so again we will just uh, place this shape on top of the original one and again we will go to opacity and we will select a blending mode that will blend the uh, pattern so we can use a uh, soft light we can select any one of the pattern here so if you want a darker one we can select multiply we can uh, select screen if you want lighter uh, blend or we can select uh, uh, the better option is uh, soft light so soft light looks better because it blends properly uh, with the color right so once we are done with this we can just select the entire object we can group it and uh, then we can just uh, put the flowers so we can put uh, different types of flowers here we have uh, plenty of uh, flowers inside this symbols panel So that's it. So here we have created two different types of flower vases in Illustrator. The final thing that we can do is we can export these things. To export uh, these two objects, uh, first let's activate our artboard uh, tool by hitting Shift plus O, and we can just uh, crop our artboard. And then we can simply go to file and we can just select save as and uh, we can save it in whichever location we want and uh, we are saving it 
as a PDF file. PDF stands for Portable Document Format and this format is good for vector designs. So we can just say flower vases and we will just save. We can just uh, use the default settings for PDF and we can save. So once we have saved our PDF file, we can now check the output. So this is the final output of our flower vases using the 3D revolve option. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please do like, subscribe, share and if you have anything to say do comment. See you again.